Hey everybody, welcome back to Knights of Azura 2, Ride the New Moon by the Game Industrials. We are now ready to wrap up Chapter 1 today, because it's time to go find the boss now of this, of this area in the Rune City of Elrum. So we're right just going to work our way there by killing some fiends along the way. Like I said before, killing more fiends will help you grind up more blood. Which makes this a lot easier. Which I think I actually could take the gate to actually to get there a little faster, because I want to make sure I'm playing time to fight the boss here, too. But we'll get to that shortly. And this is still playing. Yeah, the music still plays during cutscenes at times. Oh, yeah, okay, that's right. We, it looks kind of, it looks kind of unfitting with what's happening right now. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that, but... Um, yeah. <laughs> the music still keeps playing regardless. Oh, yeah, that's right. We launched the game using the game for the first time now. Since we've opened it up still. Just like before in the first game, we used it for our shortcut. Usually for that, we would, um... Do that for the in the first game. You usually do that for the beginning on where you want to start at. For here, we can pretty much choose where we ever want to go while we're going through the area. So, kind of nice too, so you can gather as much uh, blue blood as possible. Yes. Oh my goodness! You know what's funny, Omar? After you after you get the six star piece, they ask you a silly question. They said the six star piece has been collected, but what's Oh. <laughs> kind of Come on, man. It's, yeah. We already know the last star that Smithy's cast. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty obvious. The last one's always going to be at the main antagonist's uh, uh, lair. <laughs> yeah. You think we're retarded? <laughs> last star piece is in Smithy's. Paper Mario, or uh, Paper Mario, uh, well, well, not Paper Mario. That, that one was in the action nice cast uh, Crystal, Crystal Palace. Yeah. One in Thousand Girls was actually at uh, the Axos Fortress. Oh yeah. Which was actually correct that time. Yeah, that 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 yo that turned kicked my ass. <laughs> that kicked my face. Yeah, it was tough at the moon and um and at the fortress too, but it gave me a lot of star points to turn that bit. But yeah, love part of about the uh, the the freaking uh, Laura Crump's Mark II uh, machine battle. Uh, the I forgot what it was. I know, it was, I know, the 2.0 one. Oh, one. Oh, Magnus von Grapple. Magnus von Grapple 2.0. That's it. Yeah, that one was kind of a little annoying to fight, but uh. Especially when he shoots the chair. I didn't see that coming when I first played it. Oh, the audience. Yeah, that could be a yes. You have to really time your... to block the attacks. I, I got a good amount of blocks, but I kept getting hit by so many. It could be uh, I mean, that, hard. that was a big move on his part. He, he, he sucks up the audience and shoots them at you. Yeah, that can be a, a pain in the ass. Yup. Oh. So, yeah, we can't cross the drawbridge yet, by the way. We're not gonna be able to cross that yet till at least chapter 5. So, we'll have some time with that. Oh, hey, there's Lilia. Hey, over here. Lilia. Yoo-hoo. Be right back. Okay. The, 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 Lilia, don't, 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 go, don't go that way. We're trying to get to that damage she left. Shit. So, we need to a megaphone. Maybe she'll hear her better. <laughs> you guys had megaphones during your time. So that should work. Yeah, I'm sure, really sure. <laughs> Aluche gave you a hand, so just be okay with that, okay? This is the second time she said that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot to mask it up. Um, how's your day been uh, up here, so? My day's been fine. It's good. Freezing outside. Uh, 
happy it's Friday. Take it easy this weekend. Well, I'm sure everyone will be able to at least. Alright. Going into the back alley now. Oh, and there are actually two more gates we can get here. Um, well, we can't access... We can't access to one of them. Along the way up here. The other gate, though, we can't get so pretty much later, much later on in the game. Where we'll have more places to explore, so... We'll have to wait on that one for a little bit. Uh, but right now, just got more enemies to fight. But we are getting closer to the... Get the next hero, hero arrows up there. Uh, that pretty much going to lead us to our very first uh, big fiend will fight our basically our first boss, technically. So right now, just gonna make time to get as many kills as can and make time to fight him before it's too late. Just trying to get that as fast as we can at the moment. Uh, that purple like. Mark there that was blocking our way to treasure chest. Uh, that you need a servant that can use uh, ice attacks on it. So, we won't be getting that for her. Uh, we'll, we'll probably get that, uh, yeah, we won't get that for a few chapters ahead, too. I actually don't think it's chapter 4. Yeah, chapter 4 for that one at the least. Take care of the group of fiends there. Jesus. Uh, no, I'm actually sorry. I still think it's a god war too, but um, um, they have been since Cyber Dimension has been going on already. Uh, they are working on a brand new Neptunia project for anybody that's interested. It's supposed to be a thousand percent better. Yes. Apparently, from what they said, and should be something completely different that we that we won't be expecting. But um, there's no problem. And I'll come back. But yeah, they should. This should be promising, though. By uh, hopefully next year, we'll hear news about uh, the next achievement that they'll be working on. So I'll say. Oh yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, we went that few minutes ago, and uh, you said that it's, it's a possibility it'll take place after uh, Victory 2 or something. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, pretty much it was. But, um, you yeah, know, it's something we mentioned on uh, your God War 2 video, so. Yeah. I was just, yeah. just bringing it up. I was just bringing it up again. Yes. You guys are really holding me up because I need to get to the boss, damn it. Uh, what were you trying to say? This, this is alright, no, it's no use. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it will be. Yeah. They're, they're, they're supposed to be the, like a whole new. I think they're starting to have that habits after victory, uh, after victory 2, so it's gonna be another big adventure coming up, so. Uh, I'm gonna talk about Sour to Moon. The one that oh. just came on Oh, yeah, it is a spin off, I know, but it, yeah. it was still, it was still yeah. a good game, though. It, it's a horror. But victory 2 is still on top of it. <laughs> yeah, victory 2 is still good, but. Um, so I mentioned I did really enjoy it a lot, but I'm sure if anyone hasn't got it yet, I'm sure they'll enjoy it as well. I'm sure it'll be worth the money. Okay, four minutes left. I'm going to hope I can beat the boss here in time. And we got these barrels around it. It's going to be important for the boss we're fighting here. Oh, they love when they do that. They show you the item. Then the boss comes out of nowhere. Kind of, I guess. They kind of did that with the first boss of uh, Fly Princess. Oh, yeah. Because they, they showed you uh, the freaking. The, the freaking. You need to. You need to win more random to throw, throw at the bomb so you can throw the thing's face. So. 
This boss is, uh, this boss name is Joe. <laughs> no, Joe. I'm, I'm not kidding. Our first boss of fight is called Joe. <laughs> Sniper Joe? Oh, S is Sniper Joe. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> oh yeah, you wanna, you wanna know who Sniper Joe is? You play Mega Man. Oh, man, okay, okay. Yeah. So, yes, the perils are important for us to have having Nero with us. You need to learn this thing into the barrels when Rui lets you know when you need to use it, or you can figure out yourself. Uh, use yeah. Nero's uh, fire attack. Burn him and all may act activate the double chance for you to do more damage to it. I mean, it's more effective doing it this way. I kind of forgot to do that other times, and two, I kind of started running out of SP for Nero, so... Uh, this kind of made it a little harder for me, doing it, especially with the low time limits. Oh yeah, I was kind of, yeah, I was destroying them, but uh, I was trying to... Hopefully he would come over and fly into it. That, that works too. But yeah, tell me the yellow bar here, yes, he's got two bars of health. If it's just a red bar, he'll have one. If it's yellow, he'll have two bars. If it's blue, then it'll be three bars of health. That's pretty much how it goes to the boss's health. I see. Yeah, this thing is like a big old, like, blue blood, uh, fish, I guess you could say. A fish like fiend. Oh, I was about to use the fire, but, uh, I ran out of SP from Nero, so I have to slowly build up again. So, without that, I gotta do this the hard way by trying to damage him normally, which takes a little longer to do. I think you gain more of his SP by, by just slowly doing damage to the, by doing more damage to the enemy, or uh, I guess it'd be good hit by some chance. That, I honestly, I better know how to do that still. But yeah, once you knock his... Yeah, once you kill him, you're pretty much done with the, uh, chapter. Well, unlike the first game, uh, the first game you didn't have to worry about, uh, time limits and such against bosses. This time you have to, during, uh, this game. Shit. Could've used the double wow. chance, but, uh, he just knocked me away and cost me that, so... Thanks, Joe. Oh yeah, now I see a typo on the bottom of the screen. <laughs> Wait, typo. What? what? I just I just see a I just say typo. I said I see Joe's name on the bottom of the screen. Oh, I was just I'm like, where's the typo? <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, yeah. They they put the, the they put the boss's name on there too, which is nice to them to do that. Yeah. Well, actually, I think they do that for most bosses and such. We got to do that because I, I had my mouse pointer on the on the YouTube screen and it was covering the vault itself far. Oh, that's why, gotcha. that's why I didn't notice it at first. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, he'll also try to do this to dig up the ground, which you can't try to waste up your time doing this if you're running a little time in the which I am now. Oh yeah, L.A. The War comes out Tuesday on the PS4 and the Switch. Okay. Yeah. Yes, for the Cola game. Yup. Good lord. <laughs> Come on, Joe. Over that, that damn it. I need fire there, damn it. I don't know what he does there when he's doing that. I don't know if he does like an attack or something there from that, but... Does something? I uh, know he charges into that. It does. I think he does that at times. I don't know if he's supposed to try to charge up an attack or just attack right into me when he does that. Well, you can tell by now. By the time I'm not gonna be able to beat this on my first attempt. Uh oh. That's the wow. thing. Wow. This is the thing I learned about the first time I did this. Actually. When I yeah. first time, when I was the first time, I had a minute left to beat this, to beat this game for the first time, and I wasn't expecting I had a time limit for the bosses. Do you have to be under time limit, or is it scripted? 
It's a script. You literally had to beat the boss with how much time uh, you had left. Oh, fuck that. So, yeah, I duped. <laughs> but there's still... The, there's still some of the moves are shining on it, so I still have time. But we'll take blood in the lead with that bit collected, though. That will still count towards any even well up to your um, ally that came with you. So you can still get all that. But uh, you will get lectured, though, for uh, staying up the whole time, though. So yeah, community will get on to you about it for um, that and. If I see the use to make the turn to help extend more time, if you need it, which does help, and well, put up, well, head there now, <laughs> because there are abilities you can collect along the way to help give you more time needed when you're out. Definitely recommended to do this so you can help uh, stay out much longer. Also, more level ups, you get more time as well added. Every level up, I think you gain like ten more seconds. So I get that to add more, at least another 60 seconds to my time. So, there's one tree for um, different kinds of weapons to gain more power. Do um, one section of our gain more HP special attack. Chance to stun, freeze, or poison, or burn your enemies. And then there's the last section for healing, but if I am since it's um, extending longer. And I uh, have more time to stay out longer too outside as well. And whatever abilities you've already got on your first playthrough, when you go into New Game Plus, um, you do keep that and the ability points you've collected too. So all that stays with you. And more of the moon gets covered up again. So by that, we have at least two more days before game over. Hmm. So, I'm still okay. And yes, I cut around to the boss. Because you saw most of their stuff already, so I wanted to... I got, that just cut to where I got about the boss down to this first bar health gone. I got a little more, I got a little more time this tonight because I went straight for the gates and I got more time now to fight them, so... This made this a little easier. Still can make trouble for being such a pain in the ass he is, but uh not as bad this time. Even though I have enough SP for freaking Nero to do the darn fire and such bastard. <laughs> and and what I mean how I, and what I mean by Joe here and that I'm not even mentioned about Joe for practical jokers. <laughs> I'm sure Joe's looking for Larry at the moment. It's <laughs> probably going to be the next boss. <laughs> oh, yeah, on the wire, there's a character named uh, Progress Decision Joe. Interesting. Yeah, the wire is a crime show. Oh. <laughs> you watch crime shows, Raza? Raza? Eh, not really, no. Yeah, like Law and Order. <laughs> uh, my parents like that. I don't care for that much. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Honestly, I've been watching shows lately that are that are kind of old lately, like around the 1970s or 80s now lately. Oh, I see. Uh, but like a show I've been recently watching now is literally called Three's Company. It's special year. It's pretty old, company. but I. Uh, There's just three yeah, of us here. <laughs> yeah, uh, three Scummy is what I've seen recently. Even with uh, married children and such, but I do enjoy watching at the time when I get the chance to. <laughs> Alright, Joe, you can stop stalling. Guy, could you at some point so you can progress the story, you know? Stop sucking the air or whatever you're doing, damn it. Let me kill you already, you son of a gun. Uh, he's almost down. Yeah, I got less than four minutes. Uh, I got enough time to beat him. He's just being a pain. This especially, just to stall for more time. I just have more SP on Nero, I could 
make this a lot easier. Sheebus. Oh, Nero, or a... I almost called it Nero, never mind. The, the, the server I have is Nero. Best show. And stop digging. Just come back up so we finish you all for Pete's sake. You stupid fish. Or fish like demon. And oh. Great, great stun. Thanks. Huh. You only got like four quarter of health left. Show. Ah. For fuck's sake. <laughs> To die. Look what the stuff is there. <laughs> it doesn't look at that. It's like one freaking slag. Now he's dead. Finally. Motherfucker. Well, he's are... a fish. He's on uh, land. Oh, and that was actually what he really looks like. What? That's actually. Are Joe. you kidding me? <laughs> yes, a little fish was controlling that huge. Blue, uh, oh my blue, like, god. Fish. He was controlling that huge state the whole time. Oh shit. <laughs> Reminds it me takes... of that, that one boss in Cuphead. Oh, bad. <laughs> so now more of the moons revealed when you defeat a big fiend. This mostly happens um, at the end of the chapter. Oh, are you, are you thinking about the, the, the boss at the... Uh, the, it was like the kangaroo fight, but it was really a mouse I was controlling it. Yeah. That didn't make sense. <laughs> well, we thought Lilia was here, but she's gone now. Beth left something behind, though. Pocket watch. So, yeah, she was here. We just missed her. But. Uh, hearts. <laughs> We're gonna have to hold off on finding Lilia. We're gonna have to hold that off for now. <laughs> She's in too much pain right now, so... We're gonna have to hold that bit, that, uh, search off for now, and, uh... In the chat, in the, uh, mission there for now. So we done to be in Joe. We got our blue blood such done and all, so all's good. Uh, once one of their infinity hearts have filled up to one at least, I'll start talking about that, but... Hasn't filled up yet, so we'll wait on that for a bit. So you already lectured it once for being out too long. We had to beat the boss. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so no more going out today. We gotta take it easy now and relax while they find more clues of Liliana. And I really apparently there's stuff on your mind, probably. Oh. Okay, so I guess the first chapter's not over yet. I thought it was, but and yes, this this explains about the whole the lunar the lunar uh, phases when you defeat a large fiends. But anyway, we're gonna visit Rui in the uh, pool in the next part. Yeah, it's good to see them in the old bathing suits and all. Yeah, I'm sure you guys are all excited. Such woo! <laughs> just, <laughs> just ease up your part for a time. I mean, I'm sure that's gonna happen at some point. <laughs> but um, <laughs> we'll talk to her and see what's going on with her and uh, begin chapter two in the next part. So uh, till then, later, folks. Later.